Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Here's George, and as y'all can see, my workbench is full of stuff. Well, not really full of stuff, but I got the light bulb here, which is um, the one I'm going to be testing right now. It's a spotlight rated at 42 watts, and it has 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 LEDs, which are rated at 3 watts apiece. And if you saw my previous video, it lit up my yard all right, but... I felt like it was lacking more, more potential or it wasn't bright enough to cut it easy. But um, I went ahead and got my Fluke meters out here, my Fluke 87 and my Fluke 279, excuse me. And I got the one on the left here reading uh, DC current and the one on the right reading uh, the voltage, uh, DC voltage. And it's picking up something here from the capacitor in the power supply or probably on the LEDs, but... We're going to go ahead and uh, get this little uh, sanding disc here, put over the the light there and um, I'm going to turn the power supply on and we're going to look at the meter on the left and on the right and we're going to get the current multiplied by the voltage and it should equal P or wattage or power, whatever you want to um, think of it. But anyways, um, we'll stop talking here and put the power supply on on. And there we go. So, they're rated at close to 4 amps, and I'm getting 1.5. If, um, if we multiply 13, or let's say 14, let's pretend this is 14 volts, and we multiply by 1.5, 14 plus 7 is 21 watts. And I think that's a really good estimate, 21 watts, which is 50% of the rate of power of this LED here. And as you can see, I mean, it's holding pretty steady there. It's not going up or down. So I think these LEDs off eBay and Amazon are uh, rated probably peak power or something because I'm not getting nowhere. And I mean nowhere close to 42 watts. So you got to watch out because these, uh, these companies building these, they'll put smaller power supplies in their drivers. You know, they might put a 3 watt LEDs in there and and you can count them and you'll be like, yeah, there's 42 watts total of LEDs, but the inside part or the guts, you know, it doesn't have enough power to drive it. So, so yeah, I mean, that's pretty much for this video. I mean, don't get your hopes up, especially for 20 bucks for two LED lights like this. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off real quick. And there we go. So, just a little close up here. And the lights are off at the moment. But, um, I'm a little bit disappointed. So, let me get my other one out and, uh, I'll do a second test. Alright guys, well I went ahead and uh, installed my second uh, spotlight here. Which is the same output or rated the same. 42 watts, 42 watts, 12 volts. You know, you get the story here. But, um. We're going to see what the meters pick up, and I have a good feeling this one on the left is going to be reading about 3 amps, or maybe even 3.2 amps. And the voltage might be pretty much the same, or won't even move at all. So I won't blind myself here. I'm going to go ahead and cover this light up with uh, that sanding disc. Place this fan out of a server. Power this up. And bam, 13.6 volts DC at 3.15 DC amps. So, once again, we can run, round this off to 14. Let's say that one saves at 3. And we get about 10, 20, 30, 38, 42 watts or so. For two lights running off of a 5 amp power supply. So... Yep, both of these lights are producing half the rated rated power, and basically it's another uh, another scam from some country named China, somewhere around the world. But the lights work all right. Just don't get your hopes up that you're getting a forty watt light or a fifty watt light. And one of the reasons I tested this again was I felt. Like the lights were not producing enough 
light. So I got my meters out and this should demonstrate that don't really trust products online that are made a different country and you really can't understand the literature or the box actually don't have any specs on it or UL labels on it or any quality control stamps or anything in that fashion so will I be buying these again probably so but in my eyes I'm not going to call them 42 watt lights. I'm going to call them 20 watt lights because that's what they are. They're 20 watt spot or floodlights. And um, I did some good testing here. And I believe and I do trust my meters. So, yeah, that's pretty much the end of this video. And um, hopefully I'll learn something because I did. And, um, you know. Subscribe to my channel and uh, feel free to look at my other videos. So, good night, guys, and um, y'all have fun. Be safe. Bye bye.